Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. This is a camera microphone muffler, which is really useful on DSLR cameras because the microphone is facing forwards. So if you're filming in windy conditions, the air going over the top of the microphone can distort the audio on the video. Um, so I've seen these online and they're usually priced between 15 and 20 pounds and they are only really just quite simple to make so I thought I'd have a go at making my own because I'm a cheapskate and I thought I'd share with you how I've managed to make one for three pounds. So keep watching to find out how I did it. Okay so I'm just quickly going to show you the materials that I'm going to use for this project. The most important part is the fluffy material. I bought this small tester section off of eBay and it cost me $1.99 including postage and packaging. And this is just a small offcut that they send out if you want to get an idea of what the material uh, looks and feels like. For example, if you were going to buy several metres of it to do a costume or something. So this is just a small offcut. I also bought this piece of material um, from my local craft shop. And this is the piece that I'm going to use because the fluff is much denser. Um, something to look out for is to make sure that the weave on the back of the material isn't too tight a weave because you want some of the sound to be able to get in but not too much. Does that make sense? And before I bought these I did try and think if I had anything at home that I could use because I don't like spending money and I was trying to think there must be something hanging around. And the only thing I could think of was you could sacrifice a small cuddly fluffy toy if you felt like it. But I didn't have the heart to sacrifice poor old Alan the alpaca here, so I'm going to stick with the fluffy material that I've got. The next thing that I'm using, these are um, protective corn cushions. These were a pound for 15 from the pound shop, and these are perfect for what I want because they're sticky on one side and just a flat surface on the other side. The foam is about a millimetre thick and the hole is the exact right size just to stick over the microphone on the camera because obviously I don't want sticky across the microphone because I still want the sound to get in. All the rest of the things are just stuff that you've probably got hanging around at home, scissors, glue and clothes pegs. So let's get started. I'm going to cut out just one of these so it's easier to work with. And get rid of the excess. And then you just want to place the pad against the side of the material and cut around the side of it. Try and hold the fluff if you can so that you can just be cutting the material because you want to keep as much of the hairy bit on the other side of the fabric. You do need sharp scissors. These are not very sharp. So just cut a rough rectangle to start with and then you can neaten up the sides when you've got less material getting in the way. So just try and hold the fur to one side as you trim the corners. Okay, so when you've got it cut to roughly the same size, just pull off the excess fluff. There's bound to be a, a little bit. Um, and you should be left with a small piece of material like that and the pad. So when you stick them together, make sure you stick it to this side because then you can keep the self-adhesive side to stick to the camera. And then that way you can just pull it on and off if you don't want to keep it on the camera all the time. So I'm just using standard Yoohoo glue, but any sort of adhesive is okay, really. Oh, it's getting stuck to everything. Is that what I want it to stick to? Oh my goodness, right, I'm going to stick it straight to a piece of material before I stick it to myself. So just press it on and I've got the clothes pegs just to hold it in place. This glue takes about 10 minutes to dry and it's just going to save me holding it there myself. Okay, so fast forward 10 minutes and the glue should be dried. And I've got the camera ready here just to show you how it fits on there. So you can just peel the adhesive off the back. And then having tried this a few times just to make sure it works, sometimes you've just got to work out which angle to put the shape on there to make sure it covers the camera. So in my case, it's better if you put it vertically. So just line up the hole with the microphone and pop it on there and then just brush the fluff out to make it look nice and neat. There's a few bits that are going to fall off, but I think once you've used it once or twice, that should you should stop. So there we have it. 
one very cheap and easy to make camera microphone muffler. All in all, I think it cost me about three pounds. So I'm quite pleased with that. I think it's a bit of a bargain. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more DIYs coming up soon.